Hey guys, it's Phil Trigger here. Uh, today I'm gonna have uh, it's another deck building do's and don'ts. Um, today we're gonna look at techs. Um, now techs, a lot of people are like, uh, people should run solo clan decks and da da da. da. No. <laughs> um, sometimes a deck needs a tech, uh, and a tech is defined by a card choice that would go good in basically any deck. It's also considered a, uh, it's also called a staple or a splashable card. Uh, and let's get down to one. Now here's a few texts that I personally picked. Sorry for the glare. <laughs> um, here's a few texts that I personally picked out because they're pretty much effective in almost any deck you can fit them in. Um, and let's get on to why. First up is Airmo. Now Airmo, if you guys have already seen a uh, Peshcat's video, um, he talks about how Airmo can be used in any deck. <laughs> exactly, he can be used in any deck. He's used that cycler. So if you don't have a cycler for your own clan, uh, just use the Airmo. Uh, very good. Very good card to uh, suck through deck, get rid of those extra grade threes, uh, especially if you're running high number of uh, grade threes. Then we have high speed Bracky. Now, why high speed Bracky? The reason I love high speed Bracky so much uh, is because he's a 14k by himself. Very broken. All you need to do is Soul Blast, which is possible in any deck. Um, some decks don't even utilize Soul. So, you Soul Blast one, you get a free 14k beater. Boom, boom. Back him up with an 8. That's 22 rear guard. Very easy to access. It uh, goes back to the deck. Which is also a good thing because, um, I mean, it does fatten up the deck, but he's available for later use. Uh, and he's also, he saved himself in a way. Uh, but just a very good card overall. Then we have his grade 3 uh, counterpart, Juggernaut Maximum. This one's not used as much, but it's also as, uh, it's good as a sub rear guard. I mean, sub grade 3. And by sub, I mean, uh, grade 3 is our, our best use in the rear guard. Um, but yeah, he's the same thing as, uh, Bracky, except he's a 16 by himself. So it's even more power by himself, and he has the same effect. He goes back to deck. Uh, and still the same cost, Soul Blast. Then we have Hell Spider. Hell Spider, um, it's a very good one. It's a sub uh, main Vanguard. So if you don't have your Vanguard that you want, or you don't have good options, for example, OGTs are one of the best ones. Uh, right now they have Coco, Amaterasu, and Apollon. Um, Amaterasu is obviously the better choice, but Coco and Apollon aren't. So you can run uh, Hell Spider in its place. It's 21 beater. Uh, because your opponent will most likely have every of their units rested. Sorry about that. Unless you get a sand trigger. Uh, but he also has an effect that binds them. Uh, bind that, Not bind as in get rid of your opponent's hand, but bind as in keep them in, uh, keep them in, rear, uh, in rested position. Uh, but Hell Spider is just very good. You don't want to use his effect, but his passive effect, the one where he gains 3,000 for uh, if your every unit on your opponent's side of the field is rested, is very good. Because a lot of players just play... Uh, with your boost and everything. So unless you're blown versus an Alfred that doesn't use a back row, <laughs> you're pretty much going to have a 21 beater Vanguard backed up by an 8,000. So it's a very good uh, sub Vanguard. Um, very viable. Just good card overall. And then lastly we have the 10k Interceptors. Uh, you can fit as many of these into a deck you want. Uh, you can make your entire G2 lineup <laughs> like all 10k Interceptors. Uh, it's just a common staple. The same thing applies for AK. AK uh, boosters, you can apply, you can splash them into almost any deck really. Uh, clan specifics doesn't really matter, um, and it's just very good beat six overall. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's just a little thing of text. Um, man, it's super glare. <laughs> but yeah, I'll check that card later. There we go. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and please add me on my Facebook. Uh, basically, made it so I can get closer to my fans, and you know, so I can kind of make a name for myself out there, I guess. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, please don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. I feel like I've said that already too many times. Uh, but yeah, more videos coming later in the week. Uh, hopefully more videos coming in, in tomorrow as well. So uh, yeah, fill trigger out.